Everybody wants color in their reef aquarium, but what if you could get it without paying for coral? In this FinCast, a hearty, colorful, and relatively low-cost option that can brighten up your reef. I certainly do not mind uh, speaking my mind and saying, uh, not just in the first person, but in the trade itself, this product has been instrumental in building the uh, industry and the hobby. Hi everybody, John here. Today we're at Carolina Aquatics in Kernersville, North Carolina. This is one of the wholesalers where Carlin Aquarium Systems, the company that I own, gets a lot of its product. We're talking today to Chris Klein, who's a professional importer. His corals come directly from Australia, and he knows a lot about the different types of corals. And I want to talk about a coral alternative today. If you want to get a lot of bright color in your tank, but you're not really sure that you can handle the husbandry that's required to maintain expensive corals, you can look at something called rock anemones and have just as much color in your tank, not nearly as much cost, and not nearly as much risk. Yep, these are, these are something that have quite a bit of color. They're, they're beautiful. You can get some that are really, literally rainbow in color. Um, they're super hardy. You pretty much, you put them down where you want them in the tank. Most people will put them between a rock and in the sand, and they'll take their base and actually attach to either the rock or the bottom of the aquarium, and they'll grow from there. I mean, it's something that is not hard to take care of. They do need lighting, uh, but if it's something that uh, you don't have to worry about moving around too much, typically. So you do get, it's, it's the same basic colors as a lot of the scullies and the higher dollar corals. And they're coming from Florida, so they're not, uh, there's not as much cost involved in something like that. So it's definitely a less expensive piece uh, that you still get the, uh, the, the vibrance and, and wow factor of some of the two, three, four hundred dollar corals. Uh, you know, with a little turkey baster or something like that, you can squirt a little food in there and they take it right up. I mean, they're not, not at all hard to feed. I've seen them online at it, it, it really, really high prices, but a lot of the retail stores, a lot of our, our local stores here, I would say the high-end ones, probably 60 to $75 maybe on, on the, the most expensive ones, and then some of the normal ones, they can be quite a bit lower, I'd say in the, the 40 to $50 range. These are coming mostly out of the Florida Keys. Uh, they're in, in uh, you know, flats where they have a lot of detritus and a lot of stuff that they feed off of typically, and uh, they divers go out and, and pull a few up and uh, just put them in a bag and ship them on to us. So. so by the way, you can see Chris back there right now. I wish I had more time because he's just gotten a shipment in from Australia. Uh -huh, how I would love if I had the time to show you all that, maybe in a future FinCast. But remember, the rock anemones are a nice alternative. They're easy, they come from Florida, and they add a lot of color to your tank. I've got five or six of them in my 120 reef at home. Thanks for watching this FinCast. Please hit the subscribe button down below and check out some of the other FinCasts I do. I also talk a lot about cichlids, planted aquariums as well, so check those out as well as my other marine FinCasts. That's all for this one. I'll see you in the next FinCast.